Sultans of Swing, that was. That's by uh, an English group called Dire Straits. Have you ever heard of them? Dire Straits? Mm. No, I haven't. Knew he's on me, too. Where are they from? England? England, yeah. I haven't heard of them. That was Donny Sutherland there interviewing a young kid named Leif Garrett on the music show Sounds back in 1978. Well, back then, Leif Garrett was hot. Trust me, he was the teen heartthrob with a string of hit records and on the covers of all the magazines. Well, in 2006, the cover shot became a mugshot. He'd been arrested for heroin possession and was on his way to jail. Well, now he's out and he's talking to us. This is how Australia first got to know Leif Garrett. A 16-year-old, long-haired Californian surf spunk who sent young girls crazy. 1978 was Leif Garrett's big year in Australia. His version of the Beach Boys' Surfing USA went to number two. Surfing USA. He smiled from the covers of Teen Mags, and then he came here in person. Things got a little bit out of control. In Perth, pandemonium. Just too many people who didn't expect it. It got out of control. And in Brisbane, Leif swapped the limo for an armoured car. It's kind of strange. It's good, it's good for safety for everyone. For security reasons, as they put it, uh, uh, we were t taken out because it was, you know, so many people in an armored car. <laughs> like, you know, like, you know, he's, he's made of gold, you know, I mean, I don't know, it was, it was pretty crazy. Like, I mean, you know, the, any car would have been fine. It was just that they were, like, jumping on the car and, and, and rocking it and, like, almost, like, trying to knock and roll it over or something. I, I have no idea what, you know, what was, but it, it got that crazy. Back then, that was his everyday life. It's kind of weird having people, you know, grab at you and just, you know, try and just take something from you, like, you know, wh whether it's hair or clothing or just to grab you, to touch you, you know, it's, it's kind of weird. Leif Garrett was the picture of innocence for his fans, but behind the scenes, he was growing up fast. I was always with adults, so I was I was just doing what everybody was doing, you know, what all the the guys around me were doing, you know. I mean, I, I got at 16, I was I was hanging out in bars around the world. As he grew older, his music career crashed, and his parting career took off. Tell me that you love me too. You know, I mean, I, I must admit that it's a little tough getting over the hump of uh, being called a teen idol, you know. It got out of control, you know. It just, when you have a lot of free time, too, you know, and you, you've got free time and money and access and, and, and people just want to give you stuff or whatever, you know, or they want to hang out and party as. In January 2006, at a Los Angeles subway station, the party was over. <laughs> Leif was arrested for possessing heroin. The teen idol had a new public face. That was a good mugshot, wasn't it? That was a real beaut. I think I learned from that mugshot alone that I'll never wear orange again. Um, and I don't look good in orange. Um, and what I look like when I get high, you know? It was just not a pretty picture. Today, aged 46, he's on probation, back in the recording studio and working on some movie roles. Everything's good. I'm really happy with what's going on, you know? And uh, I'm very happy with myself and where I'm at. Next year, you'll be seeing and reading a lot more about Leif uh, in... Uh, the good uh, sense of uh, the word uh, in the news, <laughs> not, not the, uh, you know, busted. <laughs> Seeing those pictures of that time and stuff like that, too, it's almost like, I feel like, it's almost like another lifetime, like, or, or like another person almost, you know? It's, it's pretty incredible. But, but I, you know, I, I would do it all again, absolutely.